You'll see that we've left eight centimeters of exposed spinal column with brain stem still attached. From the donor's medulla oblongata to the palms. This will preserve autonomic and motor function, and it'll give us an overlapping diagonal graph to the recipient's neural architecture. Artificial cardiopulmonary replenishment is keeping up blood flow and oxygenation. At the same time, flushing toxins, and priming the internal organs with saline and blood substitutes. Clamped off the carotid and jugular vessels. Plumbing is shut down. We'll follow the same surgical decapitation procedure with Dr. Halstead, except the blood we're pumping goes straight to the recipient's brain. Suction. Clamp. That's good. That's it. And you try to retain as much of the upper spinal cord that's free of malignancy as we can. Ready? Retract table to initiate separation sequence. Ready for transfer. Vascular union complete. We're using electrical stimulation to test the bridging of neural tissue. BP's dropping. We've got a rhythm in. I'm losing him, Renee. He's arresting. We've got BTAC. We need to jumpstart him right now. Defibrillator, 200 joules, clear. No response. Going to 360. Wrapping to 360 joules, clear. We've got a pulse. We've got a pulse. Brain activity looks good. We've got a live one, people. Brain and body are alive. Don't try to talk. There's no hurry. Just take it nice and slow. How about that, champ? You got yourself a new body. And if I do say so myself, I have that specimen. <laughs>